Want to make the most of your designer series paper? In this video, I'm showing you how to create four beautiful cards using the same layout, but with different designer series paper. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Nancy Novak. I'm here Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with new videos. And today it's all about the designer series paper because Stampin' Ups currently has a 15% off sale on select designer series paper. So it's a perfect time to stock up and save. So we're gonna make one card and then I'm gonna reveal three other cards and they all use different designer series paper. So I love doing this because um, you don't have to recreate a card all the time. You can just switch something up. So we're just gonna switch the designer series paper. And remember, I offer a free project sheet for all of my weekly projects. All you need to do is sign up for my newsletter. There's links below the description in this video, and I will email you a project sheet right after this video is done. So we're going to make our first card with Highland Heather card base. And then the layer is Gorgeous Great. And then I cut out three strips of designer series paper. And this is the Perennial Lavender Designer Series paper. And then I have another scrap, and it's Highland Heather. And we're also going to be using the Heartfelt Hexagon Stamps and the Coordinating Punch. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue these strips to the front layer. So I'll do that really quick. I fast forward, so I'll be done so fast. So don't go anywhere. When you glue this, you want to do the two outside layers first, then glue the inside layer, and it just makes it easier to line up when you do it in that order. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pop this up on the front of the card. You, you could glue it down, but when you pop it up, it really just makes a difference on this card. So you can do it either way. I'm going to pop mine up. Okay, it really looks cool when you pop it up. So now we're going to take the scrap and we're going to do a little bit of stamping. So I'm going to stamp in gorgeous grape on the Highland Heather. And I'm going to use the dotted outline. Actually, I'm going to use this outline. And that's what it looks like. And then in the center, I'm going to stamp for you. And then I'll just bring in coordinating hexagon punch, and we'll punch that out. And we're going to pop that up in front of our card. And I have some of the linen thread, and I think I'm just going to add a little bow right here on the bottom of that little hexagon sentiment. So I wrapped it around my fingers three times and I made a triple bow there. I'm going to bring in my glue dots and glue that down. Some of those purple gems that went with this paper. And I'm just going to add a gem. I think right there. It's a little gem. I think that's really pretty. Sparkles. <laughs> okay, so that's the first card. Very simple layout. Pretty designer series paper. Now let's look at a couple other cards. And don't forget, I will have the project sheet, and you sign up for my newsletter, and I will email that to you. And here's one that I did in petal pink. It's a wedding card, and this designer series paper is Country Lace. Very pretty. Then I did a guide card, and this is using the Country Woods designer series paper. It's a great birthday card for a guy. And finally, I did one using the Countryside Inn designer series paper. I love all these blues. And again, I used all the sentiments that are in the Heartfelt Hexagon set. So we made four cards with one set, different designer series paper. And then there's also a few little um, floral images you can stamp, a little heart, the For You, very generic. So great versatile set. And I always love a stamp set that has a coordinating punch. So let me know what you think about tonight's cards. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. It was short and quick, but I think we created some great cards here. Let me know. Leave me some comments. 
You can also visit my blog where I have great big pictures of all of tonight's cards. That's stampandshout.blogspot.com. I have all the links below. You don't have to worry about it. Just click down below where it says more and you'll see a bunch of links with a lot more information. Thanks for spending some time with me. I will see you next Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't be shy. Stamp and shout.